right there. Wait. If you... I know. <coughs> um, it didn't look like you hit him. No, it didn't. Huh? Fifty, huh? He was at two fifty, and you were at what? Three point, three point five. That's a whole. He came in thirty more yards. Yeah, but you should, you still should have hit him. I don't know, dude. You want to come take take a look? Okay. I I heard it hit. You heard it hit something. Let's put it this way. The fact of the matter is, you're not gonna, if you miss, you're not gonna miss over here. You would have just missed him. You don't see nothing flying up. It had to have hit him. He got out of there quick. I think you hit him. I do. Where? Where is he at, though? It's I don't know. Look, look, look right between the tree. I get that. So it's got that, that green bush right there. Stop. Okay. Green bush. We've got some. Okay. So there's that see V. The, see the V? Look at yeah. the V. Okay. You see this V? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Right there.
Yep. Okay. Now. Okay, so we got a general area now. So he, from that V. Tin. It's that patch of green grass. 20 yard tin. I think like... Sometimes they don't though, dude. Go back to where exactly he he was. When he was hit? Yeah. See the V? Yeah, I, I I can see the V. I'm just trying to find that patch of grass. He look that's the V right there. So just to the left. Like that's Oh there you go. thing is, I think Willard might stay up here. You tried, you tried, but I mean, it's so hard with the spine scope. the vapor trail down here <laughs> just be patient okay let's just let's just, let's just be patient slow and fast fast and slow Did I tell you three hundred was? I don't know. Well, thank you. Okay, hold on. Okay, three fifty is five point seven. Look at this dial. Two to three. Yep. Now it's. Hold on. You're, you're good whenever, okay? Hey, <laughs> we freaking got him. <laughs> little technical difficulty. Uh, a little technical difficulty. That was some uh, major. Let's explain that one, dude, because that one's for the books. Wow. Boom. I straight drilled him that time.
You've been recording that whole time though, right? Yeah. So you got our whole, our whole figure no, out? No, not that. Oh. So, we spotted a bear in this cut last night, about 20 minutes till dark. So, we knew we had to be in here at first light. So, we boogied down here, and we don't think it's the same bear, but we did see a bear in a different part of this cut. And we knew the ranges in here were anywhere from 300 to Five, 700 yeah, yards. 300, 500, 670. And my 7mm's good out to about 300 yards. So I, since I spotted the bear, I felt that it was, it was gonna be my bear. And I wanted to be able to reach out into most of this clear cut, so I decided to bring Joseph's gun. And coming down here, the MOA adjustment must have got bumped the wrong direction so it was cranked it was cranked down a little bit but the way I read it it needed to be cranked all the way around back to zero 16 16 MOA back to zero so I cranked it back to zero and turns out it was 18 MOA off so when we went to go adjust for that first 250 yard shot, I went to 3.5 and it was it was 21.5 MOA low. And after reviewing the phone scope footage, we could see the vapor trail and sure enough it was 20 MOA low. You couldn't even see it hit. I mean that's all dirt frame. behind them. And mm -hmm. the frame never had a there's, I was like, there's no way you missed. So we concluded that it was a clean miss. We could see the vapor trail. He he ducked down in the clear cut. So we're scratching our heads, and I told him, I said, it was cranked way up when I got the gun, so I cranked it all the way back down, or the, uh, vice versa. And so we figured out that it needed to be cranked back, and we thought, oh, well, at least the bear isn't wounded. It was a clean miss. Sure enough, he comes back out. Luckily, we had figured out the scope, and he was right at 350. 350. Set the MOA to the right. To the right measurement. MOA, and just whacked him. We haven't reviewed it yet, but I feel like he got a pretty good shot on him. He was stumbling all the way down. Yeah. So. Well. That's two now. That's two. <laughs> with, with the brand new gun. We got a story to tell you guys. What's the, what's the story? We'll wait till you get here so we can go down there together and we'll, we'll, we'll tell you. Hey, it all came together though. <laughs> the Almighty was watching over us today. He sure was. I do think that was a different bear. I need to get me a nice whole surgery. I don't know. Oh, you got it.
I think he just got his shoulder. You should, you should have shot right. I did shoot back. It's going to be deceiving though. Did you get the shoulder? About elbow or something? Got him. Mm -hmm. You see it? Did you, did you whack her? Whack him? Yeah, but we went from bad news to good news to bad news. What else? I haven't even heard the shot. I heard the shot. You heard two shots? No. Just one. Just one. Hmm. That did bear, you shoot? That bear is wounded. Oh, yeah. wounded. Where'd he go? Well. So he was down, we, first he was over here, and then we kind of watched him walk, walk over here. It's a, I think it's a different bear. And the scope got bumped, and it was it was at 18. I'm like, why does he have it cranked so high? It doesn't, so I went, have, it doesn't have a zero stop on it? It does, but it's not set. Oh, no. so, I, so I cranked it all the way back. It got bumped when he was walking. It, it moved from zero to 18. Dude, I've seen this happen. Twice before. That's why mine has a zero stop. Yeah, on that's it. why I have mine on mine. Well, it, it has a zero stop, but it's not set. So oh. I cranked it all the way back around. Yeah. And I shot way low. You could see the vapor trail. And we figured it out, and he came back out, and we set it right where it should have been. Yeah. And I had a great rest. I put it right, right back. Where did it hit? He was quartering it away. Is, I put it, hit his put arm. it a little bit back, and it, I don't know how. I felt great about the shot. It, it looks good, but now that we're we're watching the video, which where do you run into? Like in the, on the other side? Down? No, down this way. Oh, down this way. Shit. So, it is nice back here, though. This is a fucking nice ass cut. Yeah, it's a bad shot. Well, it felt like we took a good shot. It felt like. That I mean, sucks. the first shot I shot off that stump, and this time I was like, "I'm, I'm gonna make you, this a. I already missed once. I'm not gonna do it again. Right. I, I, it felt right. If it felt right, then it then was, you take then, the then you take the shot. Yeah, take the shot. yeah, yeah it, you can actually see the bullet, dude. Hit the paw. It hit the paw or the forearm. How far? 350. I don't know how that bullet drifted so far. I didn't jerk or anything. And it ran right down the bottom this way? Where was it? You guys seen him originally over here? No, he was like right here. And he took a shot right about right there. And then it kind of, he went that way. But then we were sitting here. Then we figured out what really happened. And then I looked up and there he was again. And yeah. Oh, he's a he's a wounded bear, and he's got a he's got a hole in his Big right paw. But ain't gonna hurt him. No, no. I don't think you're gonna see him again. He's gonna go under that timber. And... He might come back out. I I, I doubt it now. The wounded paw. He'll probably curl up down that creek bottom. He'll be licking his wound. Yeah. So we watched the video and we clearly saw that shot just to the right and he actually shot in the forearm down by the paw area. Which sucks because it is a bear. But 
we're going to give them some hours and we're hoping that maybe we hit an artery in his forearm and if we did hopefully there's a good blood trail and give him give him a lot of time go down in there and see what the blood if there is any blood and go from there so we'll see what happens but we're gonna walk all the way around and walk down through the tree line we got a good area where we know he is and we're gonna see what it looks like So it's been four hours since we shot that bear. We're gonna head down, see what it looks like for him possibly hitting that artery or that vein in that right forearm. Go look for some blood.